my brother was was my hero. He was the person that I always looked looked up to. He always wanted to make sure that the people he cared about the most were were okay. He just he was that type of person that it doesn't matter who it was, uh, he would be there for them. He would he would uh, make sure that you were okay before he was okay. He liked to play, you know, like uh, just like simple gambling games like poker with his friends, things like that. He didn't have a gambling addiction at all. He would bet a little bit of money, but it wasn't like it was a problem for him. And he just liked to have fun. As time progressed, it he would throw in more money, more money. Um, and it would go from poker to playing dice to all types of gambling games. But he still didn't have a gambling addiction because as much as he did it, he still had everything under control. And I remember that day before we left for school that morning, he said that, you know, what he would do every morning, he said he loved me and he said that he'd always be there for me. We went to school that day and I didn't know that that would be the last time I would see my brother alive. After school, he went out with his friends to with a gambling game when he was shooting some dice and he won the match. So he went to grab all of the money and as he turned around, someone had pointed a gun in his face and shot him. My brother had no gambling addiction and you would think in Syracuse, New York, this, this type of stuff doesn't happen, but I love my brother and